We're in the building. We're in the building. We're in the building. We're in the building. Okay. Um, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Let me um remove. We're in the building. We're in the building. We're in the building. Welcome back to the live. Um, we're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking in the building. Um, we got TC in the building. Shout out to you. We got Hemer in the building. Talking about some Jesus lives. Um, we got uh, original thought in the building. We got what is life in the building. What is life? Reached out earlier. Couldn't text you back because I was like in a mental train of like trying to figure out what to do next. Uh, we got base guy in the building. Uh, we got Ryan Senior in the building. Jay Mean in the building. Um, we got Good Renners in the building. Philly in the building. Okay, we're good. Um, Let's see. Somebody said I would let you go get stuff. I'll be at the end of the park. Go. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Um, I would let you go in and get some stuff. I'll be there at the end of the park. Then go back and get it. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, shout out to all you guys. Um, I ain't gonna lie. That WrestleMania yesterday was fire. We're gonna talk about the WrestleMania. So if you don't want the spoilers, we're gonna start with that. That's gonna be the first five minutes, ten minutes, and then we're gonna move on to um, giving credit to. Um, one of the best college coaches of all time, um, Don Staley. She freaking took it. She did her thing, held her team accountable, and they got the win. Uh, we got to show love to that. And then we're going to talk about um, a post I made a couple of days ago with Caitlin Clark, um, allegedly only having a 0. .9 GPA, which is nasty work. Um, once again, I saw the comments. Somebody said um, she didn't go to play school. She went to go play basketball. So um, we got we got to talk about that, okay? Then we're gonna talk about um, J Cole um, on my way to work. We're gonna talk about J Cole, how he apologized to K Dot, and people want to be mad about that. People are mad and angry about that. They saying he should have like been like the stereotypical rapper to be about the drama. Don't apologize for anything. But I think um, Ken, um, I think that um, J Cole wanted his peace. He didn't want no smoke, no drama. So he did what I think is respectable to do. Apologize. Um, we're gonna do all that, but let's start WrestleMania. I ain't gonna lie, guys. Um, the rock brought me back to wrestling. Okay. I never used to watch wrestling. I stopped watching wrestling like years ago. It's probably been about a good 10 years since I watched wrestling. Now I'm back watching wrestling. I'm gonna watch Raw. I'm watching all the shows now. Um, Rock did that, okay? He literally that was probably one of the greatest tag teams, like prior to 2006. I never missed missed the episode of uh, Raw, SmackDown, and um, I watched every pay-per-view. Then when you had the Attitude Era start to end when Stone Cold left, Rock left, everybody left, I stopped watching it. That was probably, even with the Attitude Era, that was probably one of the best tag team matches I've ever seen in regards to just wrestling and 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 um, just the attitude, the spirit, the, the energy was great. The Rock literally owned... And, and made it happen. Um, he put his ego to side to make that that happen. And then day two of uh, WrestleMania was also amazing. That was probably one of the best championship matches I've ever seen, ever seen. I mean, like the fact that they had the um, legends come and jump in to save the day, like John Cena and, and Undertaker, and of course The Rock, and then the rest of the bullet line came in. The way... Um, the way that um they set that up was absolutely amazing. Um, deserve to um get um praise, like we gotta praise, we gotta give love to that WrestleMania. That was amazing. It's worth every piece of that twelve dollars. Y'all should go pay to get Peacock to go watch it for yourself. Every match was even good. Even the women's, even though I didn't watch really too many of, I didn't watch the women's match. I watched the end of it, but for the most part. I watched all the uh, matches. Every match I was able to get through other than I went to the Rock match because I just wanted to get to the Rock match. But every match was good. Even like just every match was good. I mean, Triple H deserves all the credit. It made me actually tear up a little bit. Hang on, I teared up a little bit uh, because I'm like, this is what I remember. And by the way, guys, um, on top of um, after we get done with the J. Cole, we're going to make a channel announcement more so how this channel is going to start to go again. Uh, we're going back to um, where we were at. We're going to, we got sidetracked. Shout out to Deliver with Taz in the building. Um, I didn't hear Meek Mill yell at Rock to get up, TC. And plus, Rock ain't going to get up anyway. That was just perfectly set up. I wish it would have been Stone Cold. 
but I can't really, you know, trip. Now, this live is going to be short because I got to get to work in about an hour. So we're going to start with leading straight to the point. So I give credit where it's due, uh, especially I try to, you know, show love to the, um, you know, black women who, um, you know, achieve great things. Now, I'm going to start by saying that, you know, when I told y'all prior to um, that game with South Carolina, you know, there's a lot of controversy because I mentioned that, um, you know, I mentioned that, I mentioned that um, Angel Reese, that whole you can't see me while the game, and, and actually shout out to J Media. Cody won the belt, but DJ feels like the champ. Yeah, I do feel like the champ, the champ is here. So when um, you had um, Angel Reese, that whole you can't see me in ring, um, she did it after the game. But when they were getting their butts kicked most of the game, they didn't have nothing to say. But then um, she did that, and she got a lot of backlash. So up to the game, um, LSU and um, and um, Iowa, um, you know, Angel Reese was talking a lot of mess, smack, because she thought she had it in the bag. But she didn't realize she doesn't have offense. She's not an offensive player. And she didn't realize that they were going to get smoked because they don't got that light skin chick I told y'all is a dominant score. And I don't know why. I don't think she made it to WNBA. I think they cut her or something. But whole point was, um, um, and I'm going to touch back on that, T on that um, Cody real quick. Um, Cody, when it was the plan the whole time, no one to see the Rocket Reigns anymore for now, as I stated before. It happened later, though. This is perfect setup. No, um, Rock already, they already spoke, spoiled that and said that um, Rock, when they saw their fan reaction and et cetera, they turned and changed it to that. But it was originally supposed to be Rock and Roman Reigns having their match, uh, but they switched it to that. And I'm happy they did because it made for a better situation. But I'm going to move on to this South Carolina because I got limited time here. So um, I told y'all I didn't like the whole you can't see me and all that after, you know, you're up. But you didn't do that when you were down. So then, you know, National Anthem, they didn't stand. They stayed in the locker room for the National Anthem, you know, um, 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 LSU. You know, and I said that those chicks are just the coach is like literally a stereotypical liberal coach. She allows those chicks to do anything they want to do. They're ratchet, disrespectful. They don't show sportsmanship you know, just kind of all around whack. So now they feel like victims because they're getting bullied the same way they're trying to bully everybody else um, that they feel was um, inferior to them. So when I told y'all I was talking so much smack about LSU because they asked for that, South Carolina, also majority black women, guess what the difference is? You have a white woman that only cares about winning. She doesn't care about these women future. She doesn't care about their image. She doesn't care that if they don't make it to the NBA, they have no option other than to hopefully they really went to class and um, decided to, you know, uh, go to school um, and, you know, get that education so they can get a good job. Hopefully they did that. Most probably didn't. They expect to play basketball. So she's so she literally just. It's like a plantation owner. She's bringing in these women, not teaching them anything about class and sportsmanship and being a leader and respect. She's letting them go all crazy and act all crazy because that's how she is. Look how she dresses, the, the coach, the white coach. She's unorganized and un, she doesn't discipline um, the team in a way that would show that she is respected as a coach. They might like her as a coach, but they don't respect her to be like um, um, up while they're talking. So now you have Don Staley, who I told y'all before. Um, the only reason why I know about her, I don't even know how to say her last name right, is because whenever I see um, South Carolina, because they've been dominating like for years now, um, she's the face of it because that's what it's supposed to be. The coach is the face of the team. And then you have the players. And the players are supposed to represent the school. And then they're supposed to represent their state. So you see the difference from, um, you know, night and day. So Don Staley not only had her women, her young ladies, her grown women um, being respectable, you know, standing for that national anthem, you know, having class in winning and class in losing. OK, sportsmanship, you know, and she focuses everything around God. That's what whenever she do an interview or it's always God first. You realize LSU, that coach, no God, just liberal, like. We're going to win because of me, blah, blah, blah. No thought of God. God is here saved for nothing. Just me, 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 me. 
no God. And she she took the God away from these young ladies, which is why I feel bad for those women. I'm hoping that the one um, white chick, she's getting out of there in a hurry. I forgot her name, the one that got bullied because they said she was slow and Caitlin Clark cooked her. Um, she got out of there in a hurry. Um, but the rest of the team, I mean, the, um, two of them, I think, are, are going to um, declare for the WNBA. But the whole point of the matter is um, I can't be giving out this smoke and not praising when it's done right. So, you know, the biggest controversy on this channel in regards to that story with the women's basketball was um, I was going in and actually, yeah, yeah the South Carolina big um, center. She's amazing. She's a great player. But I think she's Hispanic, by the way. But. Uh, I had so much smoke because Angel Reese did the whole you can't see me in the ring and all that when they're up. Um, she she showed no respect um, after the game. Show respect in class. So this is what happened, okay? Um, last year, okay? I tweeted this because I wanted to give I wanted to give this one. Okay. okay. This is what happened last season. Last season during the um, championship Clark, game. Um, she doesn't even look at her. Taylor Clark waved off Raven Johnson, okay? You. She got waved off. She said, ball. shoot, Watch go ahead and Clark. shoot, because Left she assumed the girl can't her. shoot. Waves okay, waved off. Disrespectful. But guess what? It's all fun and games, you. because you can do that. It's fair, because you're in a basketball game. You're a competitor. That's sportsmanship, because you're literally calling her bluff. She's not going to shoot. You saw her scouting report, okay? So you know what happened? She didn't declare. She didn't cry. She didn't complain. She didn't speak out. She didn't say, oh, my God, she disrespected me. No, because she has a good coach that told her to remain strong. You're going to get her back next year, okay? Hold that hold that hate in your heart, okay? The hate that you may want. It ain't hate. Use that as positive energy to freaking conquer another. Oh, my God, Taz with the $99 super chat. Shout out to you, Taz. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ, Taz, that came out of nowhere. I appreciate you, Taz. Um, much respect. Yeah, Taz, Taz must have got a, a, a good Taz. I appreciate that, Taz. Um, I might have to do a whole video about Taz. Yeah, that was like that was fun. I appreciate that, Taz. Um, you put me ahead the first day. I love it when I get that, you know, person, amazing individual that put me ahead where I want to be with my financial goal on YouTube. And um, you got it. There. The I appreciate that, Taz. Uh, definitely. Taz with the hundred dollars super it. chat for y'all that aren't watching. You're listening. Taz the hundred dollars super chat. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, Taz can owe me for today. I appreciate you, Taz. So, okay, so you see how she waved her off, disrespectful. So the coach told her to hold it in. It's all good. You're gonna get your get back. So guess what she did? Raven Johnson, instead of complaining and doing what you know, being disrespectful like um, um Angel Reese was, which got her the villain card. No, she held um. Caitlin Clark, lockdown, seven points, four turnovers, three for 11. But let me show you how she got it done, okay? I'm going to show y'all real quick. This is how she got it done. Remember, she got waved off. Caitlin Clark tried to disrespect her, embarrass her on the national stage. This is how she got back. That will be her second. Show you What she did to Caitlin Clark. She destroyed she her the, the whole game. On Clark. Here's Clark. Clark into the Look at that. Beat that. Deep three. Look at that. Lockdown. I love defense. I love it because that's what I do. When people call me out and people say, I can't shoot it. I shut him down on defense. Y'all can lock it down. Can't talk to him. It ain't that Russell. A rare one shot trick for South Carolina. Yeah, that. Iowa take that's how you get your get back. You don't try. You don't do that. 18 in the first. No, you lost the freaking hair down. This is what you get. Still, that's what you get. I don't want to hear no complaining, Caitlin. That was no freaking. Look at that again. That was not a freaking foul. That was good defense. You said you embarrassed the loud kid, but she made you pay. So get back on defense. Because you just got freaking hair. Look at that. That's how you get back. You do it on the court. You don't talk There's outside the court, off the court. You don't brag. No, you lock Johnson. them down. Look Clark at this. Lock down. Lock down. Jump ball. ball. I Three love this half. because, like, Three I realized, I didn't realize this was the thing that I got waved off, and I love defense. And I love, look at that. Rip it. I love that. Actually, that cost me money because I had to, I, I got to do first half, South Carolina. So I love this. The lead right back to South Carolina. Interface. 
This is how you freaking stretch. It ain't a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like, you got to remember, guys, when it comes to basketball, when it comes to the competition, I get emotional, the especially when it comes to defense. And this made me emotional last night, seeing it. Because Kate McCarty, yes, he had a 35 points, but he had seven on his show. He's going to lock it down. Nine point South Carolina lead. Clark on the drive. Clark the flip. Forced it up. Rebound Johnson. A couple of four. Iowa down. beating them last year. There's another Clark one. Clark on the drive. Elevates. Can't finish. Cardoso the rebound. Stolke catches. Clark has Look at it that. Look at that Johnson. work. That right there is just and now we'll that, that right there could be hype. Because you see, y'all tried to call me out like talking about Angel Reese, and Angel Reese did not back it up. When you see she was doing, you can't see me when she was down 10 points. No, this is how you get it done. You don't you don't say nothing, you don't talk, you show it on the court. This is how a coach, this is how a winning coach, this is how a winning coach gets it done. Okay. This is how a winning coach gets it done. She tells her player, don't go out on Twitter and on Instagram going crazy, trying to act like, you know, um, doing all this, doing all that. No, you go on the court and you freaking destroy the person that tried to make you look crazy. And that's what she did. And I love it. Um, Let's see what we got in the chat here. Um. Yeah, I thought she was Hispanic. Condoza, Mendoza, whatever. Um, I thought she was Hispanic. Um, she played good defense, but she couldn't hit a shot. No, because that's good. Like, based on, I'm not taking nothing away from Raven Johnson. I'm sorry. She gets all credit because, like, if she didn't pick her up, she, Caitlin Clark would have had, like, 50. She had 18 points the first quarter. If they didn't freaking, if she didn't lock her down, then she would have had like 50 to 60 points. She literally was making everything. She was like embarrassing them until she locked her down because that pride from her getting waved off, take the shot, got back. She got her got, get back, and I'm happy that it happened, okay? Uh, so let's see here what we got. I can only talk about black players and Caitlin Clark. Uh, no, I'm talking to the most relevant, talking about the most relevant people here. The most relevant people are um, Angel Reese and... Um, you know, South Carolina right now. Um, no, I'm not tearing down Angel Reese. I'm tearing down the culture that she um, portrayed. Because I know as a black player, like when somebody talks mess to me, I don't go out there and start talking and yapping and complaining. No, what I do is I go out there and um, lock them down. I don't say a word. I lock them down. Y'all seen it. Y'all saw it for yourself what I be doing out there. Okay. Um. Yeah, this weekend was pretty good, okay? Um, I was in Vegas, by the way, guys. I was in Vegas. Let me show y'all what I did, okay? Let me show y'all what I did. I was in Vegas. Whoops, hold on. Oh, I, I'm not sure on that screen, so we're good. Mind you, remember, I was in Vegas. That's the reason why I couldn't come on live because I was literally like I had to I rode my bike to Vegas and you know. I made another like 3K. Um Let's see. Yeah, I made another um made another three K. Yeah. Made another um thirty three hundred dollars. I made thirty three hundred dollars in three days. Okay. Thirty three hundred dollars in three days. Um remember I didn't bet for like a whole week because I wasn't gonna um do it until you know the, the tournament. And I did it. Now, today is the last day. Today is um, the championship game. Um, those unders have been. Um, those. Um, so those. Um, yeah, we're um, we're pretty much um, we're good. You know, um, we should be closing in at like 15,000. Um, coming up tonight, I'm trying to have a big day tonight because every single college game went under. I'm hoping, like, I'm not 
using nothing but this money that I made the past three days. And I'm going to try to like take a shot. And I'm going to try to go under. Um, but I'm going to wait till the game and see how the game flow is going. I'm going to try to put every single dollar or under trying to make another $3,000. Um, that's what I'm going to try to do today. Make $3,000. Yep. All right. So let's see what else we got here. Um, yeah, TC, um, she can have the eyelashes now because she's, you know, she lost. She's not playing basketball right now. Hopefully she's practicing to get rid of them, but it's all good. Um, she can do whatever you go tell your girl or daughter what to wear. Um, my daughter, as long as she doesn't look like a slut, she's good. But she ain't allowed to dress like that. She knows. Um, yeah. Shout out to Angel Reese. She got a ring. I'm happy for injuries. I just don't like the sportsmanship. Yeah, Cardoza was absolutely relevant, but that defense was big. But Cardoza, she was like freaking Cardoza. She was big time too. Like she was absolutely big time. Uh, let's see. No, I was in um I I kept I went back I flew back and forth Vegas. So yeah, that's what I did. So we're good. You know, we can only bet in um actually I wasn't even I was in Nevada actually. I didn't have to go all the way to Vegas. I went to Nevada and just parked at the gas station and you know did my thing. Um so what else we got here to talk about before I gotta leave to exit? I want to show y'all um So Don Staley, she's um, dope. Like she talks about God. Um, she talks about, you know, what needs to be talked about. Um, I love it. You know, I love God being put first. Um, that's how it should be. Um, we got Scallywag Sinko in the building. Scallywag Sinko, that's a unique name. Um, did you see the governor said something about LSU men's football coach about that? I don't know. I just saw that he's going to take away scholarships from the school if they don't stand for national anthem i'm for it i'm sorry stand for national anthem Res respect this country the country that's giving you a free education i'm sorry otherwise go play in like a pro league or go overseas and play or something um the football team does the same thing i'm sorry um they gonna get the smoke too shout out to Pedro in the building the clark hate is crazy to me so many haters she did more for the game any former player has period oh absolutely um, she's always she's still going to be the great white hope junior, you know, versus Trump, as always. But she's always going to be my um, great white hope um, junior. I have a crush on Caitlin Clark, you know, in regards to basketball, um, even though she's built like a, you know, a um, six year old boy. But uh, I still um, respect her game. But the thing is, um, the reason why I was excited about that, because here's the thing I remember for those of y'all that don't understand. I became a Raven fan because she got disrespected last year. Like she got waved off by Caitlin Clark. And then, you know, she went and showed up and shut her down. And my thing with Caitlin Clark is like she was great last night. She was doing her thing. But the problem is her attitude. Like she comes off like egotistical, um, self centered. And I just don't like that because, um, you know, you can't be like that um, and, and until you win. And you still shouldn't be that way, but, you know, it matters. She was acting like she had the game won before she even won. And I think that was kind of like the problem because the thing is, she, she got to have confidence. You got to have confidence. But um, you were up 11 points to the number one team, and you are, like, not realizing you need to be patient and not throw up. Any she did have 18 points in the first quarter, so you got to give her props. The rest of her team didn't really help when it came down to it. Cardoza was just too dominant. It was just a good game. And overall, as Pedro I, um, just said, the biggest takeaway is women's basketball. I'm going to watch it next year. It's actually good. It's on. A, it's better than men's. Like the passion they play with, the heart, the grit, the guts they play with. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to be watching WNBA because of Caitlin Clark. She's always going to be my great white hope junior. But, um, you know, um, I'm sorry. She got to get the smoke because she disrespected that um, um, black Nubian queen last year, took away her confidence because of her jump shot. And she, Caitlin Clark got owned by her. And I'm all for it. I'm a defensive player. So I love when defense dominates. I got to get ready to go to work. 
Nice eyebrows. I got them from my mama. Um, if those soft viewers don't didn't get offended, regular sports behavior by Caitlin Hart, she wouldn't be getting as much. Hold on, she wouldn't be getting as much hate. Yep, you're right about that. A little bit. All right, so let me get let me get set up. I don't want to open up a can of worms. So I'm not going to have nobody on today. Okay, I don't got time. I'm actually about to... Like, let me check out my wallet. Get up, I got my wallet. Turn lights off. All right, let me get my um, water filled up. Yeah, I watch... Um, it depends. See, I don't really watch basketball as much now because sports betting kind of ruined it for me. But I know um, y'all definitely going to see me make a 25K piece tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, but um, next, this coming summer because of that, um, Basketball tournament. Yep, she got the clamps. Yep. I, like I said before, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to give props to that chick, Raven, because she freaking dominated on defense. And I'm all about defense. And I told y'all before, I love a story. I love when somebody that tries to be a bully, that smack talks, gets on. And I'm sorry, Caitlin Clark, you were trying to be, you know, you disrespected that woman and she gave you the business. All right, so AirPods are going to mess up now? Or is this the stream yard? All right, guys, I'm running. I'm, I'm running late to work every single day. I don't know why. I'm always late to work every single day. Never fail. All right. Today, I actually made an effort.
Yeah, I gotta put late next to my name. Long late. House. Um, oh god, we're almost there. Uh, let's see what we got in the chat. Yeah, Taz is the MVP for today. Next, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about J. Cole. You know, it's kind of nasty in regards to the J. Cole situation is that J. Cole doesn't bother nobody half the time. And he decided to, like, do a song with Drake that Kendrick was, like, trying to come back hard and, um, you know, destroy him. And it ain't really work out. This is, this bad boy is beautiful. But yeah, it didn't really work out. Um, the way that Kendrick won it. And you have a lot of drama going on in LBC. It's kind of hard being Snoopy or Double G with that situation. Try to hurt and put this thing on the, um, on the hook real quick. You know, what people don't understand with the J. Cole situation is this how black men should handle problems. Why are we allowing toxic, like no other individuals, no other individuals that do a music, a thing you call music, have to um, beef. And I don't get why we have to beef. You know, why do we have to beef as black men? Like, why do... You know, to get to keep our to keep our um to keep our street current, why do we we have to fight? Like I don't I think it's unnecessary, I think it's pointless. I think that um it's not benefiting nobody other than toxic people. Because the only people that I want to see them fight will be toxic people because for the life of me, I don't I don't really care about them fighting. Um uh, I mean, um, I mean, I care about them dissing, I guess, because they're rappers, but like, I don't want it to get to that point. And I think that that's where Kendrick is trying to take it. Yeah, J. Cole is pro-black all day. Um, J. Cole loves his people. And that's how it should be. Um, I feel Kendrick, okay, we got TC with, I feel Kendrick and Cole did that just leave Drake lame out of it that clown definitely isn't the same level or in a big three salute both of them uh i ain't gonna lie that kendrick song is fire that kendrick song is fired i listen to it's like the, the the it's like a part five of of the heart whatever part five or whatever um battle rap is part of hip-hop that's like saying why do football players have Cole didn't want it, like he didn't like the energy that it brought. He didn't like the people, the way the people were trying to make it more than just a you know a rap beef. So I think it was smart on his part to um nip it in the bud before it escalated to a point that we wouldn't be able to um, you know, they wouldn't be able to come back from. But J. Cole's reply was kind of like people were saying it was kind of lame. It was like cookie cutter. Um, I will agree on that. It was kind of lame. I think he could have did better, but J. Cole isn't a battle rapper. He's not that type of rapper. He's just good with words. But when it comes to, like, dissing, like, he literally, like, he's more of an accidental, like, disser. Like, he doesn't have, like, he's not a battle rapper. He doesn't have it to just go in, like, and, like, own somebody, you know? That ain't, like, I don't think that's his style. I don't think that's what he does. 
Yeah, that that one album every 30, 30 months was kind of dope. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully, I got some deliveries today. Why would this phone be offline? Come on now, what are you doing? I should know how to get there by now anyway, but I'm still trying to work it out here. Um, but yeah, J. Cole, I think that that was a thing that, um, um, okay, so look, this is next half an hour. I'm going to go more into that and like maybe word pick and jump on if you want to, you know, uh, tomorrow, I mean, later on tonight, if I come back on, depends. I might be going to Vegas. I might be like not going to work and going straight to Vegas because, um, I have to, um, I got work to get done. Why is this? Come on, Waze. What are you doing? Like, you messed up at the wrong time. Um, how much do you make doing delivery? Uh, I'm not doing delivery. I'm, I'm working for a company. So it depends on how many uh, I get. Because right now I work on um I work on um hourly, so I get twenty three like eighty an hour plus like sixty cent per mile. So yeah, I get sixty cent per mile and twenty pretty much twenty four dollars sixty cent per mile. So it works out perfect for me. What I don't I don't know why. I don't know why this GPS is tripping. 917 hide. Um, head southwest on South Grand Avenue. So back to the point. Let's get back to the point. Um, last thing I'm going to talk to you all about. A channel. Okay, guys. Uh, I've gone so away from what this channel stood for at the original start to where I'm trying to do too much. Okay. I'm letting. Okay. So what Christina did, I told her to go ahead and do it because I wanted her to speak against that clown who thinks he's like some type of coach. Dude's a loser. But I wanted her to do that. And she did that. She did it to the best of her ability. Somebody pour paint over this dude's Tesla. That's sick. Uh, but yeah, I wanted her to do that. She did her thing. She asked she could do it. I said, go for it. So I'm all for her doing that. If y'all didn't like it, y'all can tune out. Y'all got to understand. I want y'all to remember this, okay? Those y'all that don't know how to, like, just click off the channel. Like, what I'm putting out here, guys, may not be for everybody. Maybe y'all want to hear what I got to say. Y'all want to hear the truth. That's on y'all. But I'm going to be speaking the truth. I'm not going to be um, pushed to where I got to um, – it's the coach Eli dude. I'm not going to be pushed to where I can't share the message I want to share because y'all are too sensitive to, like, hear it. You know, I'm going to say it the way I want to say it. Now, I am going to work on trying to be more be- – be better uh, – commun- I said more better. Try to be better communicating the message. I am going to work on that. But when it comes to the message, I'm not switching up. I'm sorry. Because a lot needs fixed. And it ain't going to get fixed unless you have more people openly speaking on it needing to be fixed. And, you know, I get it. There are solutions. But the solution that I see that I can actually achieve and I can actually uh, participate in is me speaking about it on my YouTube channel and trying to build from there. So, um, you know... I'm going to continue doing that. But what I'm going to do to make it better for you guys, I'm going to <laughs> structure. Uh, I'm going to talk to Brandon tonight. I'm going to talk to Christina. I'm thinking it's going to probably be two times a week. I'm going to do Christina. And then it's going to be three times a week with Brandon because with Brandon, Christina can just jump on there too. With Christina, it's going to be me and Christina only for the most part. Um, I'm only going to be doing about 10 hours of live a week now. I can't be doing all those long lives. I got to like, value my time a little bit better to where, you know, I take advantage and give you guys the best in that limited amount of time. But me coming on live 
for freaking eight hours a day just isn't feasible right now and it makes no sense oh crap I think my, ah, my water lid came off got all over the car i keep doing that all my water all my good water just came out the freaking container that sucks but yeah um i'm gonna give you guys the best of me for these 10 hours because i can't be doing like 20 30 hour lives anymore because it's literally like a job it's starting to feel like a job and youtube made a job for me right now because i'm trying to correlate good um content and you can't do that with being monetized right now because i gotta um, get into this new algorithm niche to where i can get pushed outside of being on this vertical i don't want to be a vertical i want to be a regular format and i can't do regular format the way youtube is um set up right now so i gotta do it in a way of limited shows that get a lot of engagement instead of doing a bunch of shows that get limited engagement but like get a lot of views it makes no sense so I'm going to be doing my horizontal again, but what all I'm saying is I'm going to be better at, I'm going to work on being better at um, pushing, um, you know, what I want to push. I'm going to have topics like I did today. It ain't that hard to do what I just did, but I got to stop making it hard. You know, I got to like get straight to it instead of like wasting an hour or two. Um, oh, let's see what people in the chat were saying. Coach Eli does copyright strike on someone puts his live. Just double check on that. Yeah, I forgot. I was to tell Christina. I am going to have to, um, um, because all she wanted to do was get the message out. I'm going to have to, like, hide that video because I can't take a chance of um, that dude being an idiot and doing that to my channel. Because, yeah, I she I, I texted her while she was doing it. And we talked after. But, yeah, I told her she has to. Um, I told her she has to like talk in between. So I'm gonna like, I can send her the video. She can put the whole video on her um, on her page. But yeah, I don't wanna take a chance of, I wanna take a chance of him. Um, oh shoot, Christina got a, a real picture up here. Oh shoot. Well, hopefully that's not chat GBT. Yeah, we just fixed that. As long as it's in two weeks, you don't say you're gonna start coming long. You're gonna. There's a difference between vertical and horizontal when you monetize. Yeah, when you're horizontal, you get paid for all your views. When you're vertical, you don't get paid really much. You get paid like it's a short. Shorts don't pay that much. And um, yeah, guys, I'm going to do longer lives eventually. It's just right now with this job, I can't. I don't have time. It causes me to be late to work, not focus on work. It's just, it's a mess. And then if I let people go on for me, I got to worry about, you know, the conversation not being up to par to where people are like not engaging and it makes it and it's a bad look for youtube so that's what i mean by like i'm not going to be doing um promising you guys all these long lives because if i say i'm gonna get off i don't get off i always end up i always end up staying on longer than i should like it's never like hey i'm about to get off now and then i no, i, I stay on so we're going to talk about what i need to talk about which is what i want to talk about which was the um south carolina situation caitlin clark with her 9.0 gpa um she's the mvp she's a real one for that um i wanted to talk about you know j cole a little bit and then i wanted to talk about um the wrestlemania those are that's how, this is how i'm going to format my channel now and do my lives i'm going to talk about topics and then we're going to keep it moving now before i go if y'all got any questions for me go ahead and put it in the chat anything y'all want me to, to answer i got about 20 minutes before i'm about to bounce off here so we can go off of anything you guys put in the chat but yeah, we're going to, um, YouTube is going to be something that I hope I can, um, build myself up to like making great. But I want y'all to remember this too. If I convert this channel to the amazing network, which is what I wanted to do, I'll just have people come on and do shows. But the problem is last time I did this, uh, the people that wanted to have a show or whatever, they didn't come, they didn't show up. I know Brandon's gonna show up for sure. I know Christina's gonna show up, but that ain't enough for me, enough talent for me to like do something, you know, make a big move. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. Um, 
because of the fact you have um we have you know me just doing pre-recorded videos i might start doing that eventually again um that works because yeah remember if i don't do controversy if i'm not yelling i'm not screaming it's not good in the algorithm like i don't know why youtube does that but like for some reason YouTube doesn't push me if um, I'm not screaming and yelling about something. And I don't want to have to do that every day. It gives me a headache, and um, it's just not good. I'm going to try something real quick, too. Actually, I can't do it on here. I was going to play some um, music. Usually, if you play music on the live, I forgot I ain't at the house. But if you play music on the live, then it allows you to, um, it boosts you up a little bit. But, yeah, guys, um, if ain't nothing else, I ain't gonna lie. Um, today is my last day um, betting. Now I'm going to work. Now I got a flight to Vegas. I'll get to Vegas at like six o'clock. So um, I'm planning on turning the three thousand into um, six thousand. You know, um, and I'm gonna be pleased. And I'm gonna go and after to the, today, I'm gonna be buying and selling phones every day um, on top of my job. So that's going to be my main source of income besides the job. Um, the job gets me my bill money, but then the phone money will be all my additional money. Um, and then I'm going to start making, you know, more moves. I know eventually the game plan is if I do this job for a year just to get ahead and I get the phones moving, I get done with the school that I start um, in the next few weeks, the route brand I want me to go. Cause I was gonna go Coursera, I could start that ASAP. Uh, but he said it's better to go. It's a college downtown that he looked up. That's only twelve hundred. That's only twelve hundred a month, and that's probably gonna be where I end up going to the school. It's twelve hundred dollars a month, but it's gonna be better for me because I'll have um, I actually have in person training instead of me trying to do it on my own um and it's for that project management of course and i didn't realize but project management is actually for uh, more than just um you know tech you could do that with anything i mean it's literally event planning it's all kinds of different things you know it's literally a project and you managing the project is that simple and it's and you learn you know software applications and all that and techniques and all that to get it done. So I'm looking forward to that. Um and by the way, when I'm gonna try to be on for um Christina's next live when she talks about um she's talking about Eli because I think that you know the stuff he was saying was so dis, dis, dis so devious and ignorant. Like he really thinks that he knows about women and marriages and this and that. And I don't think he's ever been in a marriage. Like the dude literally talking about kids. He never had a kid before, you know, and I hate calling a kid a mistake. That's just nasty. You know, how would you feel as a kid being called a mistake? You know, I know accidents happen, but like for that man to be insinuating that and trying to make that, you know, a narrative that, you know, mistakes are being, being made. Yeah, I got I don't really want, I already defeated everybody that's been in my path, and I don't want any more smoke with anybody. I don't got the energy for that. So I don't know if we're going to really, um, I don't think we're going to address that because I think from what I was told, he goes too far. Let's see. So with the chat drying up and with me about to go to work, I'm about to bounce, guys. Um, I'm going to be on later tonight. Uh, it's going to be horizontal. Um, for those of you who are um, for those of you who are in your feelings, don't come on because it's going to be heavy. Um, we're going to talk about a few things. Now, this is going to be after the tournament, after wrestling. So it's probably going to be super. Actually, you know what, guys? More likely it's gonna be tomorrow. I'm not even gonna cap because I got wrestling. I got wrestling. I gotta watch the Raw after WrestleMania. Now that I watch wrestling again, I got the um, the college championship, basketball championship, 
Um, I got like the last uh, day of NBA. I got a lot going on. So we're going to decide once we get to that point. But for now, I don't think we're going to be on tonight. I think I got uh, bigger fish to fry right now. So I appreciate once again. Oh, yeah, it is going to be a big step up. Big, big, big step step up. But yeah, as I was saying, I appreciate those of you tuned in. Um, shout out to TC. Shout out to freaking um, Taz with that super chat. I appreciate that guy. Dude. That was big. You know, that was huge. Um, $100 super chat from Taz. Um, shout out to Mav in the building. Shout out to Mav. Yep. Mav. But I got to go. I'm about to go to um, work. I'm actually about to pull up in like 10 minutes now and... Uh, I don't have nothing else to talk about. Yeah, Mav, I'm going to respond back to you, too. I forgot to um, text you. You understand, Mav, y'all be catching me at the wrong time. Because y'all, like, this morning, so I, I, I'll i be honest with you guys. I stayed up, like, all night because I was getting work done and I was t- I couldn't sleep. Like, I, I woke up at, like, 1 and I just couldn't sleep. And I didn't fall asleep until, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock. And then I wake up this morning to, like, chaos. I'm not going to say who... Um, was um, acting chaotic, but it was chaos going on that I had to deal with. And yeah, it was just a lot of drama going on I had to take care of. And it stressed me out to the point that I just couldn't go back to sleep. And I got like a couple hours of sleep, but then I took my medication and I woke up like feeling like good, but I know I feel like crap, really. Like I'm probably gonna try to get some good sleep tonight. You know, I'm gonna cash out my money, you know, um, like look at the, look myself in the mirror and say, you did a good job. But yeah, with that said, though, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you guys. Uh, shout out to Taz once again, hundred dollars super chat. That's all I got. I can't shout out everybody. I gotta go. I'm about to be at work. Um, that's all I got. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, see you guys tomorrow.